Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to RimWorld. Look, one of the most popular videos on this channel is me and creating a slave empire. So we are going to do that. We're going to continue with a slave empire. We have four slaves over here, completely nude slaves. I have absolutely no idea how useful these are because they're randomly generated, but they seem to be fairly okay. And we've got four, uh, sorry, three hussars. Now, difficulty's, you know, ramped up a little bit because this is a pretty good start. The problem with these hussars is they're shit at almost everything. Minus cooking for this guy an intellectual, uh, construction and medical, and mining and crafting. So look, we can't plant crops. That's what the slaves are for. So the first thing we're going to have to do is increase the area of the, the slave uh, compound to make them be able to to, to grow things. Um, we have Sergei Poopy and Ere. Poopy is just a great name. Uh, it was randomly generated and it, it, it's a wonderful name. The first things that they need to do is expand this into an area where we can grow crops. We've got enough food to keep us going for a little bit. Um, I think our first step is to make them start smashing down rocks, make the prisoners start smashing down rocks uh, so we can expand their base. There we go. Our prisoners are hard at work now uh, working on thing. this. thing is, these guys are going to get heat stroke pretty quickly because they can't handle the, uh, the heat because we are in a desert. Um, I think the same with uh, with our hussars here, but they have um, they have clothes, so they can manage a hot thing. So well, the first step is we're going to get some hunting done, so we can make them some tribal gear. Now, one of the things we're going to have to get done soon is researching uh, go juice production and the ability to create go juice, because we were playing hussars and they have go juice dependency, and if we don't have the go juice, they get grumpy and they stop working. Um, these guys, however, are not leveled up enough right now to plant the go juice, uh, the psycho, which needs to be level six, which is a problem. Um, but it's it's fine. We'll 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 get there. We'll be okay. I know I say this in every playthrough, but I hate beavers. Another good use for prisoners is that we can make them research as well. I'm going to have Sergei actually work on this now. Uh, we can have them research for us as well in their downtime. And if they start getting up to that they haven't got appropriate you know, beds and stuff, I can just beat them. That works, right? Well, our prisoners are not doing so great. They are currently in the middle of just beating people up. So I guess we should um, probably go and tend to their wounds, huh? I mean, I suppose it makes them much easier to subdue if I need to now. And now our rice and grow, and we have a little research spot for our, our people and I'm going to work on getting them tribal wear now. Our first lot of crops are coming in, which means they'll they'll start getting experience from, from their planting stuff, which is great. Because we need them to be able to get to level 6 and level 8, ideally, so we can get uh, herbal medicine for them too. I think the next step is getting... Uh, bedrooms for our actual colonists because their moods are slowly dripping with the awful barracks, slept in the cold, ate without table, so we need to get proper rooms for them too. So they're hard at work researching batteries for us while we're making pemmican so our meat doesn't rot because um, it's very close to rotting and I don't want that to happen basically. So we're making a bunch of pemmican so hopefully it'll last a little bit longer just until we can get a reliable source of power with the batteries and stuff like that. Batteries are done. I'm gonna work on solar panels next, as is I think every Rim World player does that. I think that's the order of everything. Oh look! A raid. They attacking straight away. I never actually check I this is a common thing. Then they're, they're not attacking straight away, so we'll we'll let them come to us, it's fine. Uh two Wookiees. Neither of them have any um ranged weapons. I'm not I'm not too worried, to be honest. 
That is getting power. Yeah, that is getting power. So we're upgrading the bedrooms now because uh, they, they need it. Because otherwise they're, they're sad and I don't want them to be sad. And then we're going to slate over uh, just about everything with slate tiles. So they don't get the, the mood debuff, you know, as it is. The Wookiees are attacking. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Well, what about the Wookiee attacks on us? Coming down here. With three shotguns, I, I don't perceive much of a threat. You're good at... In you're actually pretty good at intellectual. I'm hoping maybe we can... Maybe we can take him unconscious. That would be nice if we could take him unconscious. Because he's got really high intellectual skills, which means researching would be a breeze. Him, not so much. Hey, that's what I like to see. Now the other one, we can just we can just end. We can just end his miserable life. Well, I guess we need a new bed then. Yeah, he's he's not gonna he's he's not gonna last long. Although, to be fair, he became unconscious as well. So we could take him and sell him. Go ahead and capture them. Nicely done. This this one this one got free and and yeah, never mind. Um simply because her name is Gardner, I have set Gardner to only work on crops, the only person to work on the crops. So we can get her uh, skills up nice and high. Um, yeah, she's a little old, so she may die soon, which kind of would suck. But um, as long as she can survive long enough to uh, get us some go juice, I'm okay with it. So in the interest of not having any idle uh, prisoners, I think it's time that we work on a... Um, a quarry for them so they can gather us resources so we really don't have to do a whole lot of anything uh, which is the idea of having slaves isn't it the idea of having prisoners is you don't have to work this is great we're making so much progress on all of the researching stuff that we don't just have to do because we have prisoners doing it for us we're working on changing the steel walls out for stone walls obviously since we have an abundance of it now thanks to our wonderful wonderful workers I'll make sure they got enough, so I'll keep hauling it in. Plants are coming along nice, nicely, and the quarry is also coming along nicely. Although I made that one too... I made that one wall too big. That's annoying. That's fine. We have an incapacitated refugee quest here, which we're going to go ahead and do. I'm going to send uh, Boopy on his own with some uh, pemmican and a couple of the herbal... Maybe we should send Sergey. No, we'll send Poopy on his own. Uh, I'll make sure Poopy is available to to actually uh, do medical stuff, and he'll go uh, and quote unquote rescue that person. They're a gardener, so they should have good plant skills, which is what we need, isn't it? And we have arrived. Now he said there's some sort of threat here. I'm assuming some mad animals are gonna. Pop up and ambush us. I could be wrong. Ooh, hello. Oh, mechanoids. That's actually worse than mad animals. Thankfully, Poopy's got a pretty high shooting skill. There's one dead already. We have a high slight. Hey, look at that. Easily done. Let's offer help. bring them back and as soon as they're back we'll imprison her and look at that a plant skill of nine exactly what we need sergey is our first supreme leader and then i'm probably gonna make um poopy the the have poopy oh actually we do have a shooting specialist as well who's our best shooter okay so Begin role change. Poopy, I would like you to be 
Uh, but then you can't do a bunch of things. Then again, you're not really doing a whole bunch of things at the moment anyway. But for now, we'll just have Array become our uh, author authoritarian propagandist. <laughs> reminds me of a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, it reminds me of a certain period of history. I think I'm going to have to make a journey and trade with one of the factions to see if they hopefully have some go juice. It's probably going to have to be township at the stream down here. So, yeah. But also, I kind of don't need all of these prisoners right now. So the ones with the highest fighting skills. So we're going to get rid of Gardener. The ones with the highest fighting skills worry me the most. So we'll take Gardener and we'll go sell Gardener. Plus she's old, so, you know, we don't really need her. Okay, so now we can buy, uh, well, first of all, we can buy straight up Gojuice, which is a lot more expensive than buying Neutroamine to make our own Gojuice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a little bit of Gojuice, and I'm going to buy as much Neutroamine as I can, um, along with... Uh, single package of our milk because I don't have enough food to get home. Um, so we can make our own before we can actually make our own Neutromine. So we can make our own Grow Juice. Grow Juice? Go Juice. Uh, rather than straight up buying Neutromine, which is slightly too expensive right now. Ah uh, yes, a man hunting pack of two. Um, I hate some of the events in this game. When you've dealt with them once, you've dealt with them a dozen times, they're all dead. Easy done. So it, it makes sense to, like, go and abduct some people, right? And if there's if there's a work spot right, right next to us, it, it makes sense to... Oh, your Ray is having a, a mental breakdown. That's fine. It makes sense for us to, to go and try and catch them. It, it, it just makes sense, right? Well, we have arrived at the tribal working site. <clears throat> they do have... That one has a bow and arrow. And a fairly decent melee. But I want to, if I can, uh, maybe fire off, like, one shot at each of them. And then the other one... And then we'll, then we'll basically just go club them down. Oh, you're going to run away. You're going to run and hide. Oh, you're going to come out this side. Okay. And then we'll get one shot on Exorcero there. And then we'll go and we'll go and smash him up. Smash him right around the face. Smash him upside the face, shall we? Oh, well, that one died. Let's see if we can get him knocked unconscious, shall we? And we do. This this raid is is mildly more concerning. Uh, simply because I've got grenades. I hate grenades. I hate grenadiers. I'm not attacking straight away, but I would rather take them out closer to their base than, or closer to where they're setting up rather than our base. Um, and they also have a machine pistol, which isn't as scary, thankfully. Uh, I'm going to wait for you all to get here at the same time. All right, now charge them to death. They are piggies, though. <laughs> I genuinely thought that said goat sniffing for a second. Okay, we haven't got... We're not in range right now, which is not great. I'm less... Oh, R.A., not the time. Okay, let's let's finish this. Excuse me. Okay. Array needs to return to home. Poopy, this one's on you, okay? Poopy, stupid name. 
you are single-handedly gonna fight this grenadier while he's chucking, like, you know, frag grenades at you. Ooh, ah, that's close. Well, I'm pretty confident in the fact that we've we've won this fight. Would have won it a lot sooner if Ere hadn't decided to, you know, keep moving. You know, you guys are supposed to be like top tier shooters. Is it the weapon? Is it the weapon that you're using? I mean, if they get if you get close to them, they can't exactly chuck grenades on themselves. So, okay. Go, go bring them back to base. Now, this is what I was afraid for. A prison break. Because I don't have any ways of, you know, non-lethally knocking these guys out. So we're just going to have to stand at the front here and beat them up as they come through, frankly. Why exactly does she have a bow and arrow? All right, stop, stop beating him up. Just try not to kill them. Get in there and take out Rosalina too. be set to doctoring and getting these guys up. Thing is, they've got to be punished for that. And I didn't really want to, so... Out with your tongues. Out with your tongues. M more slaves? Did anybody say more slaves? Anybody? Slaves? Uh, you're pretty useless. You're pretty good at mining. So we don't care about Indy, but we'll take uh, La Fauna. Uh, let's get him over here. 60% chance, 60% chance, 60%. Oh, we'll take the 60% chance. And now we can just kill. Uh, we can just kill Indy. I mean, if she wants to get unconscious, we'll take her too, I suppose. What I didn't realize, I didn't realize Indy's actually pregnant. Now, we're, we're evil people, but are we evil enough to kill or sell a mother and child into slavery? I'm not sure yet. I really don't quite know, but we'll find out, I'm sure. So to get more slaves, we can find them, we can attack them, we can, you know, kidnap them, or we can breed them. If we extract ovums from our female prisoners and implant them with hazar genes, we can either keep them, depending on how much genes they have, or we we can sell them into slavery. Which I, I admit it's a little bit messed up, but hey, our cycle plants are nearly grown. I mean, that made our, our life much easier. Indy miscarried, so we're all good. All good, all good. So, we do need more herbal medicine to start this. However, we've researched fertility procedures so we, we can actually take uh, the ovums from our, our prisoners here. But first, we have a manhunting pack. It's like I do this, like, it's like I'm on magic. Like, I know something's about to happen, so I just start recording and then it happens. Um, what is it? Manhunting foxes? I don't really like foxes. In fact, I'm, I'm scarred by the fennec foxes in one of my other playthroughs, uh, which completely screwed us over, which I'm still mad about. 
Focus on the ones that are close to you. And they're all dead. And our first lot of psychoid leaves have come in, and our herbal medicine's coming in. Everything's going quite nicely, actually. We also quite sadistically have um, our first ovums to... Um... Yep. It's a little messed up, isn't it? When you think about it, it's a little, it's a little messed up. Only seven point nine percent. That's pretty. It's pretty bad. Let's uh, let's check indies first. See what in uh, the the chances for indie. Oh, it's a hundred percent. Okay, can we can we do two at once? No. Well, we might as well try the second one while we're here. <laughs> Indy was pregnant. She miscarried. Now she's pregnant. Hopefully, going to be pregnant again. It's a little messed up when you think about it. But this is a, a game of, of war crimes, essentially. Now nah, the first, second one wasn't successful, but the first one was. That's that, that works. Let's check the baby's genes. Okay, so it's it's not even Hazar. That's good. I have no I have no questionable thoughts then about whether we should keep it as a prisoner or uh, or keep it as a colonist. So. Yeah, um, to end uh, today's episode with that messed up, uh, messed upness, we can start making our first set of neutromine at the drugs factory. I'll have somebody wake up and do that in a bit. Uh, let me change the schedules too. Uh, somebody will wake up and, and do that in a second. I've realised you actually need Yayo to make uh, to make it, so we need to get psychite refining first. And now we've got the ability to make yayo, so we can make yayo, which means we can then make grow. Uh, I keep calling it go juice. Make go juice. And Jeremy's gonna be top. Yayo next, and then it will be go juice after that. Anybody want to go make that right now? There we go. Ria, Ria's gonna make it. And we have our first lot of Yayo. Now, if any of these prisoners start taking the Yayo, we're going to have issues with it. I actually want to make the Go Juice the top priority. That makes more sense. So as soon as they get Yayo, they make Go Juice. Just like Duralot is right here. And we have our first set of Go Juice. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time also we're very close to 700 subs which is incredible thank you very much bye bye